This is a follow-up to my uh, uh, Del Mar ride video I did a couple of uh, days ago called uh, uh, the Livewire Del Mar Unleashed. And I've been thinking about that ride a whole lot this last couple of days. And I remember when I got off the bike at the end of the ride, you know, they were interviewing me and talking to me and things. And I remember saying um, that it felt like the bike was a simulation, meaning that everything just seemed like absolutely perfect the way that it was done. And um, anyway, uh, since then, I've read through all my Livewire stuff again, and I ran into this sentence, uh, this tagline I'm going to read you. I'm going to tell you where it came from after I read it. It says, industry-leading simulation capabilities enabling light weighting, reduced product development time, and eliminating prototype builds. Now, that line is straight off the LinkedIn page for uh, Van Strader. Uh, he is the CTO at Livewire. Uh, he is the guy that set up uh, Livewire Labs in Mountain View, California. Now, um, I assumed, wrongly so, because this is a secret place where they don't really uh, uh, tell you what goes on inside, but I assumed that there were engineers in there making like speed controllers and battery packs and you know, software and electronics and everything for the live wire. Uh, I had no idea that uh, these guys are doing simulations. They're doing uh, motorcycle simulations and uh, they're doing very, very advanced things. Now, um, let me get into, the, uh, get into the thing a little bit deeper here. If you go to Vance Strader's LinkedIn page, you just have to type in Vance Strader LinkedIn on Google, on, on, I'm sorry, Vance Strader Livewire on Google, and it'll take you right there. And uh, these are uh, two paragraphs directly out of uh, Vance's uh, profile. It says, establish, staffed, and led Silicon Valley Livewire Labs to develop HD's next generation modular, scalable, EV systems and software, first products begin production in 2022. Now it's 2023, those products aren't out until next month or the month after, whenever, but he clearly hasn't updated his page lately. But, <clears throat> but obviously, from what we know, he's talking about Del Mar. That's got to be Del Mar. So they established uh, the Livewire Labs to develop uh, Del Mar. At least that's the first thing that's come out of it. Now next, and this is straight off the LinkedIn page, oversaw development of industry-leading simulation capabilities, enabling lightweight or lightweighting, reduced product development time, and eliminating prototype builds. Now, uh, if you look at Vance's profile carefully, you'll see that he didn't come to Livewire until they, you know, set it up as a as a separate part in May 2021. If you look at what he worked on just prior to that, it was the Pan America. Now, um, that is incredibly interesting because, um, you know, the Pan America basically is an adventure touring bike that goes up against the BMW GS. Now, I've had uh, two BMW GSs uh, in my life, and uh, they are excellent motorcycles. They are probably, I think they're BMW's best-selling motor motorcycles. They've been around for a long time. They just get better and better. They're very refined, very, very good bikes. And anyway, when the Pan America came back, or came out, everybody was really shocked because it's a better bike than the BMW GS Adventure. Now, we can argue that all day long, but first shot out of the gate, that bike is better, and it has a different uh, geometry, different engine configuration. It has all kinds of new features, but my point is, I think the way that uh, Harley-Davidson made that happen is Vance was probably developing the uh, Pan American in a uh, simulator. He probably knew, or the people at Harley knew, exactly how that bike was going to behave and what it was going to do uh, <clears throat> you know, before it ever... Um, you know, hit the road or before it was ever made. I mean, they can simulate gyroscopic forces and geometries and weights and all kinds of things. In fact, and, and I have no inside information, but they probably have a, have a simulation model of the BMW GS where they can compare the two and see how they'll react to different situations without ever having to ride the bike. So, I mean, you know, this is the world that we're living in. Now, if you look at some of 
you know, Vance's past and what he's done, he's always on the cutting edge. I mean, uh, worked uh, with Buell on the um, XB9R. Um, all, he, 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 did the, he did the original Livewire prototype starting in 2010. Uh, just, I mean, the guy is uh, probably uh, the best motorcycle engineer on the planet, uh, probably the best one that's ever lived. But anyway, uh, he's doing industry-leading simulation capabilities. I believe that that's why when I rode that Del Mar a few days ago that it just really surprised me because it's, it's like nothing I've ridden before. And the reason is, is the bike was put together in a simulator where they could try thousands and thousands of different options and, and different things, different setups on the bike, uh, different configurations without, without ever having to make the bike. So they eliminate prototype builds, meaning that, you know, they do the bike in the simulator and then I guess they build it and ride it. But uh, um, I was told by uh, one of the guys that took me on the ride uh, that not a whole lot of people have uh, ridden the, uh, the uh, Del Mar, not even inside of Livewire. There were people there that had not ridden the bike. So, I mean, I think the few bikes that they have right now, they're watching them really carefully and being real careful with them. But um, I think that, you know, a huge part of the bike was probably done in the, uh, you know, simulator. I don't know, you know, how much is done in real world and how much is done in software, but... It looks to me, it feels like, you know, a whole lot was done in software, and this is a real uh, competitive difference or, you know, competitive advantage for Livewire. But anyway, um, I also uh, wanted to uh, apologize to uh, Van Strader uh, because after riding the Del Mar, um, I realized I've been wrong about him all this time. Uh, what I thought, uh, what I thought about him, and I mean I've done videos in the past about him, is I thought that his mission uh, was, uh, uh, you know, was 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 not, or his his mission is not just to provide a path to electrify the sport and save Harley Davidson. Okay, so I thought that Vance was at Livewire because that was what the future was. He's trying to, you know, help Harley Davidson transition to electric all that kind of stuff, save the sport, you know, save the environment, all that kind of stuff. That's what my thoughts were. And uh, it looks like that's really only the, the uh, tip of the iceberg. And, and what the real situation is, is he's trying, or he is transforming computer simulations into thrilling wor real world encounters. So in other words, um, he's starting with the software in the simulation and coming up with a motorcycle. So he's crafting a riveting experience through computer simulation and transcending it into reality. It's basically starting with a video game and making a real motorcycle. So uh, this is really groundbreaking stuff. And uh, this is uh, why the Del Mar is so much better than the uh, Livewire 1. This is why the Pan America is better than the BMW GS. I mean, what... What Livewire is doing, what they're doing at Livewire Labs, they're not just making you know motor electronics. They're doing motorcycle simulations, uh, you know, probably using Nvidia cards and all kinds of stuff to do just incredible simulations about riding the bike with you know an infinite number of different variables and things that they can change. So anyway, I think that the simulation thing and this high technology thing at Livewire Labs has been right right out in the open for everybody to see but really hard to understand how it goes together until you actually ride the motorcycle. So uh, speaking about riding motorcycles, um, I'm inviting all of you, uh, anyone who wants to go uh, to the uh, Livewire Experience Center this Sunday, June 25th. Uh, what we have is we have an owner's ride for anyone with an electric motorcycle the last Sunday of every month. So it's the 25th this month. And I was told, uh, not promised, but just told that Ben, Mc ben McKinley and Eric Stafford are going to be there. Now, Ben is the guy on the Livewire website or on the Harley website who talks about that his first day on the job at Harley in 2010 was uh, to do the uh, prototype for the uh, Livewire motorcycle. He had a battery pack and a motor and was have, having to design uh, a motorcycle, which then turned out to be the Livewire One. I mean, he's he's the guy that 
you know, made, made it look as cool as it looks. And then Eric Stafford, uh, he's the, I believe, director of design for Livewire. I'm not sure exactly what the title is, but he's the guy that I interviewed uh, on my YouTube channel uh, when they announced the Livewire Del Mar. He came out to California and he answered some questions, but he was pretty standoffish about a lot of stuff, didn't give us a whole lot of information. But basically, you know, what we've or what I've learned after riding the bike, I have a whole lot more questions for him about uh, what's going on and, uh, you know, what what the real thing is with Li what Livewire Del Mar, you know, how they made it do what it does. But anyway, uh, when we have these uh, rides, it's um, it's open to anybody with an electric motorcycle. It's, you know, we get a few uh, Energicas, we get some uh, Zeros, you know, it's it's, you guys have to ride in the back. It's uh, pr primarily live wire motorcycles, but everybody's invited to go. It's, it's a great time. Uh, Kickstand's up at 9 a.m. on Sunday. We usually go, uh, you know, somewhere locally in the area to have a breakfast or something like that. Uh, so you're all invited to go. You might want to call them on the phone first because occasionally they have, uh, you know, owners come in from out of town and they have motorcycles that they can loan them so they can you know ride a live wire if they're coming in from out of town but uh it would i have never met ben I, i'd sure love to meet him and eric i have met love love to ask him some more questions and uh in closing i wanted to say that you know i read all the live wire stuff that comes out and the last uh, few days or maybe the week or so i i've, I've seen another tagline i maybe came out a month ago occasionally on their uh, print media stuff and their press releases they say Livewire is the future in the making for the pursuit of urban adventure and beyond. And I th just think that's a real cool phrase. I uh, just wanted to, to uh, point that out. But anyway, um, hope you enjoy the video. Hope you get to ride the Del Mar soon. And um, uh, hope to see you at the Livewire Owner's Ride on uh, Sunday the 25th. Have a great evening.